What's up? This is just going to be a quick little uh, stream here because I didn't feel like editing it. I'm going to be doing this more just because it allows me to get my information out of my head and uh, do something quick. So I just got done rebuilding my Ender 3 Pro. It's one of my personal machines that I use quite frequently. Uh, I just fitted it with our latest EasyPi image on its Pi board and the EasyCam HD that we sell. Now, the one thing that I always do on my machines is after I set them up with a new Pi image, I go ahead and I change the webcam settings so that I actually can take advantage of the HD because by default, Octoprint defaults to like 640 by 480 at 10 frames a second. Now, I know the cameras that we sell, the easy cams, those support up to 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames a second for their resolution and their frame rate, and that's what I'm going to do now. Now, if you have a different camera, you can refer to the manufacturer's specs to find out what resolutions and frame rate co com combinations that they actually support. Now, because these are our own cameras, I, I know they support 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames a second. So if we look here, this is the, uh, the Pi that's connected to my printer here. And you can see, like, you know, it's usable. Like, yeah, it's a video feed and, you know, it's, it, it works. Um, you know, but especially on these where we can actually adjust the, uh, the focus so we can actually get things in focus, it's kind of hard to do when you don't have much resolution to work with. So to fix this, it's actually pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and open PuTTY, which is a uh, terminal client. So if you don't have PuTTY installed, just Google download PuTTY. Um, and I'm going to put the IP address of my Pi in here, which is 172.16.21.200. And we're going to connect on port 22. Now, if you're using our Easy Pi image, um, you're going to use the username Pi and the password Easy pi.ssh uh, it's actually documented there's capitals and numbers and stuff um, and if you're using a stock image it's pi and raspberry so this is the first time connecting it's warning me that the uh the key is different from what is cached on my computer uh, because i just replaced the image so i'm gonna go ahead go ahead and hit yes and i'm going to tell it i'm going to log in as pi and i'll put my password in capital e z capital p one dot ssh and hit enter and you can see here we're greeted with the uh the ssh terminal now, to change the resolution and frame rate that we're operating at and that the camera is actually using, we're going to go and edit the octoprint or octopi.txt file. So I'm going to type sudo nano slash boot slash octopi.txt and hit enter. We're going to confirm our password again. And now we have uh, we have Nano open here, and this is the text editor on the Raspberry Pi. So you can see here we've got different options, and they're all commented out. And you can see the line here, camera underscore USB options. I'm going to delete the little pound sign in front of it. And you can see that line lights up. It's no longer blue. And you can see here we've got the dash R, which is the resolution. And you can see the default is 640 by 480 and F is the frame rate, and it's defaulted to 10. Now, our EasyCam HD support full HD. Um, I, accidentally pressed a, I accidentally pressed a button on the numpad. Um, and they support full HD at 30 frames a second, so that's what I want. So I'm going to make do a dash F30, so we see here, and we're going to change this to 1920 by 1080. So for the EasyCam, if you want the best picture quality and the highest frame rate, you're going to specify uh, dash R 1920 by 1080 dash F 30. Now I'm going to hit control O and hit enter control X. And now that setting saved. but you can see here that the camera is still potato vision. Um, in order to actually get the new settings to apply, I got to do a pseudo system control. Um, webcam d i think wait hang on restart webcam d dot service so and i'm hitting tab to do auto completion i always can't remember if it's the service and then restart or restart the service but there you go pseudo system control restart webcam d service hit enter and if we refresh the page here now we should get a nice high quality image and look at that now we have full hd we have 30 frames a second and now I can go ahead and aim my camera and get the bed in focus here because we do have a manual focus adjustment on the cameras here. So you can actually see your printer quite easily now um, and you can actually see it's pretty good quality. So 
Um, I can go ahead and, you know, control my printer. I actually have this camera mounted off the corner of the bed with our solid bed mounts. And I can go ahead and use my printer. So this is a quick little, uh, quick little tweak. If you want to go ahead and get a higher resolution and frame rate, you can see here, like this is literally my browser. It's, this is running on a Pi 3B plus, so not even a Pi 4, and it's able to handle the 1080p 30 frame a second. No problem. So... I, I hope uh, I hope that would be helpful to you guys. I hope this makes sense. So, um, you know, just to recap, you're going to SSH into your Raspberry Pi. If you're using our image, you log in with Pi and the EZP1.SSH uh, password, and that's all documented in our documentation. If you're using a regular OctoPrint image, it's Pi and Raspberry for the username and password. And then you edit the sudo nano, uh, do sudo nano boot Octopi text, um, and you're going to uncomment the camera USB options and change it to whatever frame rate and resolution your your printer supports. Um, you also, if you have like a raspy cam, if you see here, um, the raspy cam, which is like the little uh, ribbon cable ones on the PCBs, I'm not a fan of those because I hate dealing with the ribbon cables, but if you have a raspy cam, you can also set the frames per second for the raspy cam. Those also default to uh, 10 frames a second in OctoPrint. Um, I don't know if they have an option for the resolution for the raspy cam. I'm just looking in here, uh, but again, I haven't I haven't used the Raspi cams in a long time. Um, I've been sticking with USB ones. I think I've used like two Raspi cams on my printers in my entire printing experience. So, but that's it. So you just you can issue the sudo system control uh, restart webcam dot service. You could also just restart. You can do a sudo reboot um, and restart the whole OctoPrint. Uh, install or just do it from here, just reboot system. Um, either way, once that service is restarted, it's going to read that configuration line from the octopi.txt file, and then you're going to have a nice clear uh, 1080p image or whatever your camera supports. You know, some of the uh, some of the Logitech cameras like the C270 um, or the C310, those are 720p's, um, and the C615 is a 720p. Uh, but if you have like a 920 or a 930, um, you can go up to the 1080p, 30 frames a second. Uh, and some of them will even do 720 and 60, but I mean, for your printer, I'd probably opt for a better resolution. But the nice thing is I, I've just rebuilt this printer, so I've got the Easy Neo lights on here. You can see them glowing quite brightly. So now I can do time lapses, whether I have lights on in the room or not. The printer bed's nice and illuminated. I can check my prints, um, whether the lights are on in the room or not. Um, it's just very convenient. So basically I went over this whole machine and... Uh, updated it and just did a bunch of maintenance on it and i figured i'd share this little trick i do and uh, on all our octoprint installs so we can get higher resolution so hope this was uh, helpful for you i'll go ahead and put a link to our easy cam down in the description so if you want a 1080p camera that doesn't have uh, autofocus and the thing with using a camera with autofocus on the printers is because you're trying to focus at such a short distance uh, the camera just hunts and hunts and hunts, so it's kind of annoying. Whereas these cameras, we actually have specced out with a manual lens, so you can actually turn the little silver ring on the lens here and adjust exactly where you want the focal point to be so your bed can actually be in focus and it's a wider angle view than most webcams you can get. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, video slash stream, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hope you have a good weekend. As always, happy printing.